Back to Ghana tonight, the Electoral Commission is set to release certified copies of the voters' album to all political parties in the first week of November. That's according to the chair, Jen Adokwe Mensa, earlier at the IPAC meeting today. Take a look. The re-exhibition of the Provisional Voters' Register has never happened before. Indeed, this is the first time. And it demonstrates that this commission is a listening one. It is a commission that is open to receive feedback for the betterment of its stakeholders. And we would like to thank the NDC for you know, this idea of re-exhibiting the voters' register. It also demonstrates that we are a transparent commission and that we work with and work with our stakeholders. We are confident with this approach, and we believe that we will have a near perfect final voters register ahead of the 2024 December elections. A near perfect voters register. That's the assurance that Jen Adokwe Mensa, the chair of the Electoral Commission, is giving. A number of things that she put out there as well, including the fact that they, quote, are confident that the revised provisional voters register that the Electoral Commission will present starting today is a marked departure from the register they presented during the exhibition exercise because they have corrected all the errors that the NDC pointed out. Dr. Rashid Computer is the Deputy Director of ITN Elections for the NDC. Some commendation to you, uh, Dr. Tanko, I mean the NDC, f for put, put pointing out a number of things and also asking for the re-exhibition of this provisional voters register, which is the first in our history as acknowledged by the EC chair. But that statement that all your errors have been corrected, the errors you, you identified have been corrected, is it one that takes the box for you? Uh, Alfred, let me say good evening to your cherished viewers and to you yourself. Uh, the, the, the reality is that we are here to study the PVR given to us today. You know, we receive the the PVR today uh, at the IPAC meeting, at the close of the meeting that uh, they gave us the PVR. Uh, for now, uh, we, we, we are only giving them the benefit of the doubt. But you saw what happened at the meeting. I mean, uh, uh, we didn't take kindly to some of the things uh, that uh, went on at the IPAC meeting. And uh, chiefly among them is, uh, is, a, is a, a, the discrepancies of the valid uh, voters in the register as given by the IT consultant. Uh, I took time to, uh, to, to quiz him about uh, the three dif different figures as they chain out. And he tried to say because they are provisional figures. But I don't think uh, in provisional figures you should have different figures. At least you should have one provisional figure so that we'll be working on that provisional figure to arrive at a final figure. But you cannot be given several uh, different figures for us to work with. And that was what I took issues with them uh, at the IPAC meeting today. And then also, we're also very much mindful about uh, the, the issue of the transfer badge. If you look at the transfer badge that he presented today, uh, based on what he told us at the last IPAC meeting, the 332,107 transfer badge, which he sought to explain that it was meant for... Uh, people who were involved in multiple uh, uh, transfers and and that because of that they have managed to pull it down to 311,344 so there was a difference of 20,763 uh, and we asked that we needed to have a data of that because this is a quantum of number that cannot be glossed over we need to get the, the data of these 20,000 to uh, uh, appraise ourselves with what actually led to uh, this multiple transfer he was referring to, because you can't just change a figure without backing it with the data. And so we needed to get a data on, on that. I mean, right. so these are issues that we want to, uh, uh, the, the electoral commission to come clean uh, with. And is there any other opportunity for you to have those answers to those questions you're asking again before election day? Yeah, yeah of course. You know, uh, the, the exhibition will end on the 19th. And I'm, I, I am happy as a political party, the NDC, we are so happy that Ghanaians will appreciate that the NDC is the one which is guiding our democracy. And, and she, has, she, she, she was magnanimous in that. 
by saying that they have to thank the NDC uh, for bringing this idea, the idea of re-exhibition and order. It was through the ingenuity of the NDC. Even this live broadcast and order is through NDC. Uh, we have brought these processes all this along. Otherwise, if we hadn't used our eagle eye, your guess would have been good as mine. And you realize that it is the NDC that should take this credit. And that's why I was telling uh, our colleague at IPAC that they should stop thanking the, the Electoral Commission, but rather thank the NDC. Because the Electoral Commission themselves were rather thanking the NDC. Right. Whilst the, our opponents were rather praising them, they didn't know that the praises rather should have been given to the NDC for having brought us to all this level and making sure that they do the right thing and clean the register and then so we can have a credible register that can stand the test of time i mean we are not going to relent on our effort in that we will continue the path of making sure that the right thing is done even the online thing we've identified some small problems and that we told them they tried yeah, they their own way of rationalizing things uh, but they themselves realize that yes, the NDC people we meant business. Well, well, we are we are talking about issues on that nature. Dr. Rashid Tanko Computer, I thank you very much for joining us here on Ghana tonight. And this uh, online re-exhibition is one that is going to be consistent on our radar here on your election command center because, as you indicated, the uh, revised provisional voters register statistics the Electoral Commission put out today, uh, total number of valid voters over 18.7 million female. Voters make up more, 9.689 million, and uh, males, 9,082,264. First time voters, 708,280. The special voters is what Dr. Rashid Tanko said they raise issues with 131,476. Total number of transfers, 332,107. Transfer voter list, you see the proxy voters as well. And the multiple list, those who have their names on the multiple list, 26,790. And the missing voters, individuals whose details need to be verified, 1,273, as we have it there. But a number of you have reached us indicating, you know, want to know the process of using the short code to verify the information on your voters' ID within the voters' register. This is how the process looks like. Emmanuel Samani takes us through. So the Electoral Commission announced for the general public the commencement of its re-exhibition of the Provisional Voters Register today. And so we're trying out the uh, USSD code to see how seamless it works. And so uh, you go onto your phone, dial star 711 star 51 hash. Uh, you hit the prompt. Uh, loads of one. It says, welcome to the Mobile Voter Register Exhibition Service. You then proceed to dial in your 10 digit voter ID number as we're doing right now. And then we got a message that uh, the details has been sent to us via text. And indeed, we did receive a text message from the Electoral Commission with the name, age and registration, gender, what the polling station is, the constituency and the region. And it goes on to say to report any errors to uh, our district electoral officer. So uh, there you have it. It seems that the short code from the EC uh, actually works quite seamlessly. That's the demonstration video. It's going to be available on TV3 Gun on Facebook and also uh, on, on 3 newscom So make some time and get that education as well. The online one, just for those who have internet access, the USSD for those who do not have internet access. There's also another challenge of the mobile network connectivity in some of the hard to reach communities. That's the next phase of the conversation on this PVR online re-exhibition. Re I wanna say thank you so much for joining us here on Ghana tonight. Join us same time tomorrow for another conversation. My name is Alfred Kansi. Have a good night.